Henry Burris TV is brought to you by Hockey Central Sports Memorabilia, Sylvan Lake, and Supreme Menswear, simply the best. Talk about the difference uh, playing the Eskimos uh, at McMahon Stadium and then having to go up north and, and playing at Commonwealth. It used to be a little different when they had that that grass, especially in November, is very slippery and very unpredictable. But how is it now with uh, with the with the services a little more equal? Well, I mean, it's an advantage for really uh, us in in many different ways because we practice on our surface each and every day. Uh, it's something that they're getting used to. But really, that's a revamped team in Edmonton, so uh, they practice on it every day at Commonwealth just as well as we do. So really, it's an even playing field. But you know, when you come into the Labor Day case for us, you know, guys from the U.S., it's almost like the OU Texas game, Ohio State. You know, whoever they play, Rambo might know a little something about that. Alabama Auburn, but all the big rivalry games that take place. I don't know who Southern Arkansas plays. Do you have any idea? Yeah, Southern Arkansas DeVry or somebody like that. But, <laughs> but uh, it, it's about all the, the, the big rivalry games that take place, you know, each and every year. And going into this game, it, it takes on that type of mentality, that type of feel. It can be pressure for the, for the home team on both sides because, number one, you got to go out and really put on a good show because you can't lose to your rival in your home park on that big day, which is Labor Day. But however, our guys, we're focused on more things than just the game. We're focused on making sure we execute do the little things the way we're supposed to do it because if we feel we do those things regardless of where we're playing and who we're playing, we'll be victors. But however, whenever we go on the road, I mean, for some reason, we love playing on the road. It gets us away from families, friends, having to get all these, you know, ticket, you know, requests and all that, so on and so forth. We're going in with the world against us mentality. We band together. We bond together like brothers, and we go in and we have each other's backs. And when we leave that ballpark, our only objective is to make sure that we're winning that game and we're coming out, having the crowd booing them, getting upset at their coaching staff and their players. That's the mentality that we take into each game on the road, and we're looking forward to doing that on Friday up there. How would you compare, uh, you know, so many people look at this Labor Day game as the season for you guys, but I know there's a hatred there for uh, Edmonton, and there's a hatred for Saskatchewan. What's it like? How would you compare Edmonton uh, as opposed to playing uh, in Regina? Well, Edmonton is more of a professional crowd, I'd say. You know, of course, the stadium's a lot different, a lot louder, you know what I mean? Uh, of course, in, in Saskatchewan, it's right up on you with 30,000 people. But for crazed, this list, oh, it's crazy. Fans. Crazed drunken fans are throwing stuff at you. Yeah. And, and uh, you really get into the game out there in Regina. But however, with it being Labor Day, I mean, we could possibly see 60,000 people up in Edmonton. And uh, that's the type of environment you want to walk into. To me, it's the most professional uh, stadium in this league. I mean, they really sell it out very well up there, and they represent their team very well, a great organization. Uh, but to me, the big difference is the fans are a little bit more professional. Uh, you don't have to worry about the hecklers the way you do in, in, at Taylor Field that are right up on you, whereas with the track behind us, you know, and our many different, uh, our history up there, uh, they're a little bit further behind you. So you really don't hear as much of the heckling and you don't have to deal with it as much as you do at Taylor Field. Before you played in a game up there, you must have heard all kinds of stories about how tough it was to pull out a win up at, uh, at Commonwealth. Yeah, I mean, because of the, the whole mystique of the grass, yeah. you know, the whole, that whole mystique was pretty much haunting everybody. But the good thing for us is we have both services available to be able to practice on. And so whether it was Coach Higgins or, or, or well, actually, they, uh, you know, or even John Huffnagle, we switched to grass each and every opportunity that we had to play up there just to prepare ourselves uh, to get ready for dealing with the, the wet conditions, slipping and all that stuff. And uh, it gave George Hopkins, our equipment manager, an opportunity to kind of tinker with different types of cleats to get guys comfortable with planning and cutting just to make the plays and be able to play without thinking about the surface. And, uh, but to be able to get the victories that we did while playing on that surface pretty much got us over that whole mentality. Uh, we focused in on just executing and playing the game, and we are able to get a lot of big victories, uh, which put us in positions to do some big things. Uh, in the day, they would play some serious mind games when you went up to Edmonton. Uh, mm -hmm. They would practice on there, but they wouldn't let the Stampeders practice on there. They'd yeah. have to go to Clark to practice. So one day, <laughs> Wally, with all of us in tow, takes out bolt cutters and cuts the friggin' chain <laughs> <laughs> and they stormed the field but all the security knocked them wouldn't let them go on it was it's quite the mind game and i i believe that was finally the year that uh with Pee Wee smith catching it and put a lot of the demons away in 1991. you know i was only six but i was covering the team at the time <laughs> six oh geez shows you how uh how, how old you are how old i am again <laughs> yeah. but, but it, just goes, it just goes to show you that you know so many people try to build different mentalities and try to close the opposition out especially when it's your house you want to have that mystique about when people come into your house about the home field advantage 
because I know we went up there numerous times and they would be sprinkling water and down the field. Sure. There'd be something going on that will hold us from going onto the field and testing out cleats, more so for the defensive backs, the receivers wanting to get out there and trying to chest, test out new shoes or what type of, you know, screwed in cleats should I wear? Well, they come up with different ideas to keep guys off the field because we're doing this, we're doing that. Because, you know, some of the guys on our team aren't going for that excuse, but, you know, we're not going to go out there and get all dripping wet, you know, from a sprinkler system. But, but uh, again, when it came game day, you know, we made sure we used pre pregame to our advantage and got, you know, mentally ready. But now we don't even have to worry about that, which yeah. is a great thing.